What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to send crypto from Binance to Exodus Wallet. So, you might be wondering how to exactly do so. Well, the first thing that you want to do here is that you want to go ahead and get the receiving address for your Exodus Wallet. So, in this case, I've already opened up my Exodus Wallet here, but go ahead and open it up, open it up via your web browser or, in this case, your extension. Now, in Exodus here, you want to go ahead and click on the Receive option that you see on your screen. And from here, you want to go and choose which asset that you want to receive here. Now, it's really important that you choose the correct asset here and the network for it. Like, for example, if you want to receive ETH, make sure to select ETH and also keep in mind which network you're using. Now, at the right side here, this is the network the specific ETH here is using. So if you want to use the ETH network, make sure to use ETH. Now, if you want to use other networks here, you could go ahead and choose that. But in my case, I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, let's go ahead and click on copy. Now, once you've copied your address and you're now sure which network you're using, let's go ahead over to Binance. Now, at the top right of the screen, you want to go ahead and hover over your wallet icon here. And you want to go ahead and click on Spot Wallet. Now, in here, you want to go and click on the withdraw option that you see here. Now, from your account, you want to go and choose your coin. And in here, let's go and choose ETH. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to set up a few things. So first is going to be the address. So let's go and paste the address that we just copied. And you want to go and select your network. Now, like I said before, it's really important that you choose the correct coin and network for this one. So in this case, since I've selected ETH as my network, let's go and choose ETH here. And in here, just specify the amount that you want to withdraw. And also keep in mind the network fees and make sure you have enough. But once you've specified all the details here, just click on withdraw, approve the transaction, and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.